visit the Christmas capital of Texas. That is a look at Jessica Cerner's TikTok. She has more than a 400,000 followers, 100,000 followers on Instagram, and she allows you to go along with her on her travels and what she has dubbed My Curly Adventures. Jessica Cerner is joining us now, and I have no idea where you came up with My Curly Adventures. How did you come up with that? <laughs> I don't know. Something about the hair, adventure, something. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. We are so excited to have you here. And before we dig into some of the best spots that are your favorites, both here close to home and in, in other destinations in Texas, um, when did you make the connection that your passion and love for travel would first be a great, would be a great theme for Instagram and then TikTok, getting into the whole TikTok video thing? Uh, well, it all started when I had my first nine to five and I wanted to travel the world, but you know, I only had weekends and I couldn't jet set on a plane, but I could go and go sand surfing in Monahans or visit the English gardens in Weatherford and do all of these fun things. And so just like anyone my age, I would post little Instagram pictures and people started asking about it, asking about these trips and something sparked and I said, okay, I can do this. Um, and now it's become a full-time thing. Uh, TikTok started. Um, and I was like, well, I'll, you know, I'll try this out as well. And it has just been insane how that has blown up. Um, and I'm excited that I can show people just how much there is to do locally. It is insane because, you know, there seemed to be at every turn a different social media platform and it gets some buzz and then it dies out. This one really stuck and you probably had no idea when you started doing TikTok videos that you'd amass almost a half a million followers. No, and at first I thought you had to like dance in all these different destinations, you know, it was like, <laughs> I'm not really a dancer, how do I transfer this, but uh, it just turned out that it was a niche everyone was looking for before travel got really big, and now, um, now we see all these different niches on TikTok, which is really great. Well, good for you, and no more 9 to 5 for you. Let's talk about, let's talk about right here close to home, one of your favorite destinations. Yeah, so, you know, if we're talking about Christmas and we're talking about Texas, we have to talk about the Christmas capital of Texas, which is great fine. Uh, and as you can see, they just go all out for the holidays. This is in the main street. Uh, lots of Christmas decorations. They have this whole um, holiday theme and the stores will get all involved and they have a bunch of great photo opportunities as well. Uh, so they have a giant kissing booth, a Mr. Toast kissing booth, um, and ornaments. Um, and as you can see here, this is the Gaylord, and they really do a lot as well. Um, they do a uh, snow tubing and building gingerbread houses, snowmen. Um, I don't know, are you an elf fan? Uh, an elf? Oh, the movie Elf, yeah, with Will yeah. Ferrell? Yes. <laughs> oh, absolutely, totally. Okay, well then you have to go. They have a mission safe Christmas and you get to wander through the seven layers of the candy cane forest. It smells like peppermint. You get to go and throw snowballs. It's all about saving Christmas, just like Buddy the Elf did, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's really great. Um, you and I on this second pick, we are completely aligned. One of my favorite places, Fredericksburg. It's about 250 miles from Dallas. Seems like a long way to travel, but it's actually a nice drive. And that square with that tree in the center of town is so great. I spent Christmas there in 2018. It really is, it really is a, a remarkable weekend getaway. What do you like about it most? I mean, is there really a bad time to visit Fredericksburg? <laughs> But the great thing is there are just so many Christmas activities. This is a German historic town, so they have a giant Christmas pyramid in the same area where the Christmas tree is. And they're also known for their holiday wine trail, and so it's a great opportunity to get some warm mulled wine, try the local wineries in town. Um, and also, I feel like Christmas comes and goes so fast every year. It's January, and you're just like, where did this time go? Uh, but they have a year-round Christmas store, so if you're feeling kind of festive in March or April, you can go and shop for some ornaments and get all that festive cheer right at the Christmas store in Fredericksburg. And a shout out to Vaudeville. I don't know if you've been there or their cafe and restaurant, but it's one of my favorite spots. I have not been, but now that you recommended it, I definitely have to try it. Oh my gosh. I gave the Curly Adventure Girl a <laughs> recommendation for Fredericksburg. Um, I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Um, all right, Jessica, let's go on to number three here. Um, you like this one. This is for a Christmas Carol fans. We're talking the classic Dickens Christmas Carol. Um, where do you go for this? 
So this is in Bernie, right, so, right outside of San Antonio, and it is just so beautiful. It looks like it came out of a Hallmark movie. They have um, the Dickens on the Square, but then they have several different activities going on every weekend, such as uh, they have a taste of Old Town, and you can wander through the Hill Country Mile, which is a bunch of different shops, great for Christmas gifts, and they have served wassail for you. Um, and then they also have the Kinderfest, and so this is where they're gonna have a Christmas cookie crawl, which just sounds so delightful. They they have live reindeer and they do scavenger hunt for the kids. So really a lot going on there. Um, but on the other side, they also have um, the Old West Christmas Fest. And this is where you drive through a tunnel of lights. Then you emerge in this Old West Christmas town uh, and they've got lights, they've got um, longhorns, they've got Christmas pictures with Santa Claus. So really a lot going on there, both kind of like this old time Christmas feel. And two quick mentions. We want to send people to Beaumont to holiday at Ford Park. There's also live reindeer reindeer there and in Beaumont um, I should say that's in Beaumont in College Station Santa's Wonderland is rated by you as one of the best places to meet Santa so Jessica Cerna thank you so much it's good to see you congratulations on your success with My Curly Adventures thank you so much thank you for having me and you can check out mycurlyadventures.com and of course as we said she is on Instagram My Curly Adventures and on TikTok and she learned, Jenny, you don't have to dance to be on the TikTok. We haven't learned that yet. We just keep trying to dance. And we'll be back right after this. Stay with us.